put any face on any image. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I have something really amazing for you. And I know I say that very often, but with AI, there's always some cool stuff to try out. So did you just hear me say any image? Yeah. So this is not just for mid journey. You can upload any kind of image and then put a face on that of your choosing. Now, isn't that just face swapping? Yeah, actually it is. But this one is free and it works with any kind of style. So I will make this video about mid journey, but also showing you how to do it with any other image. Of course, when you want to do it with mid journey, you need a premium account. So because this is a Discord bot, what you need is a Discord server, but that is for free. Also, the Discord account is for free. Here on the left side, at the lowest part, you will see here a big plus. It says add a server. So you click on that and then you say here, create my own server. And then you jump through all the steps to create your own server. That should be pretty easy. And when you click here on create my own server, this will also ask you for me and my friends or for a club or in community. So probably you want to click on for me and my friends so it's a more private server. So after you have done this, you want to invite the mid journey bot to your server. So for that, you either go to the private chat you have with mid journey and there you can click on the mid journey bot name. And here's a big button that says add to server. So you click on that and then you select the server where you want to add that to. Or alternatively, you go to the mid journey discord server, you go into one of the newbie rooms or other rooms where the discord bot is active. Again, you click on the mid journey bot name. And again, you have the add to server button. After you've done that, you also want to invite the inside face bot to your discord server. So click on the link below this video, invite the bot to your server. And now both of the bots are on your server. Usually the bot on your server should have the rights that it requires. If that is not the case, up here you have your server name, you click here and then you have here your server settings. Now in the server settings, you have here your roles and the bot has his own role. So here we have the mid journey bot and down here we have the inside face bot. Now, when you click here on that edit button and here on permissions, you can scroll through the permissions to see what kind of permissions the bot has so that it can send messages, receive messages, and you can interact with the bot. Now that all this is done, you can use your mid journey bot as usual. So down here, you write slash and then you can see here you have imagine or describe all the functions you want to use with mid journey. And with that, you want to create an image here with a face in it. But of course, this video is about the inside face bot. So how do you use that? So as you can see, there's also command here that is save ID. If you don't see it, you can still type it. So slash save ID. This will ask you to upload an image of a face. So I'm going to select an image of my own face here. And then here you write an ID. This ID has to be one word. You can also put numbers in there, but no spaces. So for example, I just wrote Olivio. After this is done, now this face and that ID is the active ID for your bot. So you don't have to type any kind of keywords or such. So after you've created an image with the mid journey bot, when you are on the server, this is not going to create for you the four individual images. So to get one of the images out of this preview, you have to click here on this upscale button. Now that I have my upscaled image here, I can right click on that. Here is an apps command and here I have in swapper. You want to click on that. And after a short while, this will apply your face to that character. And as you can see in these examples, that works pretty nicely also with different styles. Now, one thing I also want to show you here is that this will stick very closely to the shape of the head and also of the facial features. Like, for example, here you can see that it really grabs onto the shape of the beard and applies it to my own beard. And of course, if you create a character with hair, then the face that you apply to that will also have that hair. So I will always not be bald on an image that has hair in it. 
Now you can also upload images to Discord. And for this, it's important to say that the Discord account is free, the Discord server is free, and the Inside Face app is also free. So there is nothing to pay. You can use this with your images that you create with Stable Diffusion or photos you find on the internet. Do with that information as you want, but well, act responsible. So to upload an image here, click down here on the plus and then on upload file, hit enter. Now that this image is on your server, right click on it, again go to the apps and select in swapper. Also what you can do alternatively is to upload an image of yourself to the Discord server. After this image is uploaded, right click on that and select copy link. Now we go down here to create a normal image with mid journey and we put that link in here and you write your prompt as normal. This will use your image input together with the prompt to create an image that is similar to you. And that is already a benefit to apply your face afterwards to that. Here are some additional commands that you can use on Discord. The first one we have already seen, it is slash save ID. This will prompt you to upload an image and give a name to that image. The next one is slash set ID. Here you can set the ID that you want to use next from the ones you have already generated. Also there is slash swap ID. With that you're also prompted to upload an image so you can change the image that you have applied to an ID. Next we have slash list ID which will show your list of all the IDs you have generated so far. Then there is slash del ID for deleting an ID. But of course, for that, you need to remember the name of the ID. So list ID is actually good to use before that. And then there is slash del all. This will delete all of the IDs that you have created. Let me know what you think about this app. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.